Hi, I'm Rod. Welcome to my channel. Today I am back with the pop group and they will be performing Words Disobey Me. So here we go. disobey me that's a great song um, yeah there's, there's the whole band are great uh, the song is full of energy it's kind of scratchy it's chaotic um, there's vibes of jazz and like uh, noise rock or garage rock uh, you've got this really funky bass line um, the guitar is jagged with heaps of reverb it gives me kind of vibes of um, the guitars on Captain Beefheart's uh, album I think it was a Ray Cooter's guitar um, and surf rock um, yeah it's just so good and the vocals are great as well uh, the drums 
Um, yeah, I don't know whether I, maybe there are some um, great debut albums out there by young bands and maybe it's because um, while they're just finding themselves as a band they just throw everything at it and um, and mix all these different kinds of influences before they get defined as belonging in a certain genre either by the record company or advertisers or even fans um, a lot of fans don't like their favorite bands venturing outside of the box that they've been put in I think Bob Dylan when he went electric and he got booed that the whole crowd <laughs> um, just booed him at a at a festival um, or when Metallica put out the Black Album and the, the, some of their fans just went batshit crazy um, it was ridiculous the way they went on um, both Dylan's and Metallica's fans um, so yeah, I don't know I wonder whether maybe when you're younger and you still finding yourself and before you've been put into these different genres whether you can just put out albums like this and um, without kind of interference by anybody telling you oh you should be doing it this way or that way or, uh, I don't know a uh, bit about them. The pop group are an English rock band formed in Bristol in 1977 by vocalist Mark Stewart, guitarist John Waddington, bassist Simon Underwood, guitarist saxophonist Gareth Sager and drummer Bruce Smith. Their work in the late 70s across diverse musical influences including punk, dub, funk and free jazz with radical politics helping to pioneer post-punk music. The pop group have been called pioneers of the late 70s post-punk movement. Um, yeah, from what I understand, the, the first wave of punk in the UK had come to an end. Um, and the pop group were one of the groups that revitalized the scene in what became the, the post-punk scene. Uh, the group was inspired by diverse musical sources as diverse as Captain Beefheart, Miles Davis, Sun Ra, Funkadelic, Television, New York Dolls and The Who, in addition to non-musical sources such as French Romanticism, Beat Poetry, the Situationists and Existential Philosophy. Their music inspired and influenced many bands and artists that followed them. They cited as an influence by artists such as uh, Minutemen, Primal Scream, Sonic Youth, Steve Albini of Big Black, Trent Reznor of Nine Inch Nails and Massive Attack, Nick Cave, uh, stated that after seeing a live show it was one of those moments where we just feel the cogs of our mind shift and your life is going to be irreversibly changed forever why is the debut studio album released on the 20th of April 1979 it initially received mixed critical reviews but has since been has since received acclaim pitchfork ranked it at number 35 on its list of top 100 albums of the 1970s the wire included it in the list of the 100 most important records ever made words disobey me is track six and it was written by the pop group <laughs> yeah that was great Th this is a great 
band, a great album. Um, really enjoying this album. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you would like to support the channel, the best way you can do that is by liking, subscribing and commenting. It all helps and I hope to see you in another video soon. Thanks for watching.